All right, so what exactly is getting indexed? Does, does Google go to each page and, in, and, and uh, grab the words from that page literally, actually, and then search that page? No, that's not what happens. In fact, it's a lot more interesting as far as I'm concerned. Google actually downloads every page and keeps a copy of the page. That's called the Google cache. The word cache means a place. Like you may have heard of geocaching, right? The idea of geocaching is you go someplace like here, the crater of Mount St. Helens, right? And I dig a little hole here and I put some stuff in there. You know, I put a little marker in there or something. And later on, you come back and dig it up. That's the idea of a cache. A cache in computer land is a place where you store pages or you store information temporarily. It's not where it came from. It's not where it really lives, but it's your copy of it. It's your copy for whatever uses you're making of it. And in the case of Google, the use that they're making of a cache is to um, uh, the use that they're making of a cache is to make a copy of every single page on the web. So what I want you to do is do a Google search, and then if you mouse around a little bit, you'll see a little link that says cached page. And I have an example of this here, and it gives you a couple of concepts. One is that um, the terms that you searched for, in this case I searched for Info 101, they're highlighted. They're literally highlighted in the cached version of the page, which is kind of nice. So if you go to Google and you do a search, and I've done this a bunch of times, I go to Google, I do a search, and I go to the page and I'm like, well, why did it give me this page? This page doesn't seem to have anything to do with the words that I typed. If you go to the cached page, those words will be highlighted and you'll see exactly why it was returned as a result. So that's point A to make. Actually, point A is that Google makes a cache. Google makes a copy of all the pages on the web, and that's what you're searching. That's, what you're, uh, that's what's building this index that, um, that Google is using to give you search results. That's point A. Point B is that the words of the, uh, that you search for are actually highlighted in that page, and that's a really nice thing, something that is very useful to you if you ever can't figure out where your search terms are on that particular page. The third thing is, and I've got that circled here, and it says two weeks out of date, is to know that it takes a while, right? It takes a while for Google to, to spider out, and it's not going to hit your page every minute. So I made, so I made changes to, the, to our, our course website, and they, at least, they didn't show up for at least two weeks on Google, right? So it's not an immediate process. It's not, now, I don't want to say that every site, when it changes, takes two weeks to update. There's really important sites like, you know, a government site or something like that, that Google will index pretty constantly and keep it up to date. So my site, unfortunately for this class, is not particularly important to Google. And we'll talk about what it means to be important for Google to Google in a minute. But it, it takes a good few weeks for it to get around to my site. So my site is really kind of behind the times. And it's not, you know, won't necessarily find stuff on my site if I just added it to the site yesterday. OK, so that's the Google cache. Google downloads all the pages then uses those pages to shake the words out and build the Mondo index and give you back search results. Okay, so let's review a little bit about, um, about uh, what, uh, what this diagram that I've been using says about, um, about spidering and what gets spidered. And there's a little bit more detail here. First of all, what I said about all the, um, all the links and spidering out on the links, um, there's also, uh, uh, you can put a you could put a file right on your website called robots.txt right at the root, right in the beginning of your website. You put this file, Google looks for it, it reads out that file, and it knows a lot better how to index your site, what to leave out, where to go. If there are some pages that are unlinked, it'll find them that way. And so you can actually put a little instruction set to Google right on your website that says how you want it to go about indexing it. Um, there are what's called nofollow links. So right in the link, when you make a link on a web page, you can say, don't follow Google, Google and Google say, okay, doesn't, I don't need to follow that link, and it'll just, it'll leave that out of the search results. Okay, um, oh yeah, uh, you can also ask Google to re-index your site, so you can ping Google, it's called, and if you ping Google, it will, uh, it will know that your site is ready to be re-indexed, re and I don't know that that means that they're gonna act, they're gonna go like run right out and index your site, but at least it's telling them that, you know, putting you in the front of the queue. And maybe I should do that so that they index our, our class site a little bit more frequently. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, so there's this, also this idea of if there are more links coming into your site, Google's more likely to index it sooner and, um, and more, more regularly. And uh, we'll talk about that a lot more when we talk about PageRank. Okay, 
So that's the idea of spidering.